We're in the backyard and we're going to finish uh, installing our tube for strawberry plants. Over here I've got my main water pot where uh, the water and the pump will go. I leveled it out on some uh, center blocks and what we'll do is we'll tie some 2x4s together, some mounts, uh, some brackets up onto the fence to where we'll mount the uh, tube. I leveled up the brackets, put 2x4s uh, on top of the brackets so I can mount the pipe in. The pipe will basically set this right here on the edge of the fence here. And what we'll do is uh, let's get the holes drilled in both sides for the plumbing. I'll drill one hole on this side for the water intake. We'll run a tube along the back side, back into the tube, hook it up to the pump, and then the drain will come on this side, feed back into it. I've got a power cord running from the other side of the house back over here, and we'll set that up. I picked up 25 feet of a half inch inside diameter piping, flexible piping at uh, Home Depot that will drill a hole. What I'll do is I'll do a pilot hole, and then I have a auger bit that I can actually board out so this pipe will actually fit right in. And there we have the inlet hole. For the drain, we're actually doing a drain siphon system. You use a half inch piece of Schedule 40 PVC piping and 290s. You're gonna set it up like this to where it sets in the pipe with an O-ring in the middle of it. What happens is the water level will stay here and once it drains, it will drain and then siphon all the way down to where I'll have a, probably about a half inch of the pipe left of water in here so I still have water in the reservoir but this here will actually go about two inches up on the pipe and then what we'll do is we will install the o-ring and then you push the half inch pipe into the o-ring to make a watertight seal and then you put your antenna or piece into it and then the water will siphon itself back into the drain line that we're pumping our water from let's drill that out I determined where I needed to drill this center is to have this pipe three inches up so it gives me an inch and a half reservoir here so there will always be an inch and a half of water in the bottom of this uh, pipe. Water will come in, circulate out, and then it will suck it up, siphon it up until it comes up to there so my roots will still get uh, water. I'm going to drop this down a half an inch so I have about an inch of water in the bottom. Now this auger is actually an inch hole so we'll drill it till it gets all the way through. Like my glue came loose, so we'll have to re glue this. Have to figure out how to do that a little better. You push this around the sides so it'll fit over the plastic itself on both sides making a nice seal <clears throat> and then you take your pipe and basically just push it right back in 
I'll push this all the way to here and then put the other piece onto it so it will look like this. And then I will have to glue this pipe back on. And then that there's what our drain's gonna be like. I got the pipe end glued back on. Got it mounted up here. I use some uh, plastic plumber's tape to screw it onto the boards they set up. I crossed it in the middle one. What I'll do is throw some tape over it. I've only got eight plants that I'm putting in here. I ran my feeder hose for the water along the back side. What I'm gonna do is cut in 90s to set it up on here and then have it feed in the hole that way. That's what we'll do now. Well, after about 10 minutes of pushing, prodding, and pushing some more, these uh, pieces are finally together. So now what we'll do is we'll add some water and turn the pump on. Every good gardener around has rainwater catchment. How do you get rainwater catchment out? You hand pump it. I want to use rainwater because the pH level is neutral. So what we'll do is I'll take 10 gallons of this bucket here. And then I'll fill it in there and we'll turn that pump on. And we'll have some water. I'll put some fertilizer in here, some warm tea mixture, some other nutrition to where it'll flow through the pipe. Let's get this pumped out. Get us some 10 gallons worth. There's four in that bucket. Fill the other bucket up. And we'll be good to go. Well, I got the system up and running. I put in a bigger pump on it to level the wall air water off. I can check the water to see how high it's going to be in this tube as it's going to drain. I want the water level right about half of this tube so it doesn't overflow. So let me show you the pump system and how the system works. probably 15 gallons for the pump. The pump system itself has a, a regulator on it where it can actually turn down the water flow itself. It'll come up this black line here, come across the back. comes around to the back side in here and actually inflows right back into here. You can see the water level in it. The water level is right about in here where we can get the cups in. The strawberries itself will set right in. There's the holes. They'll go into the water just like that and seal. set them in. I'm going to put in the rest of the strawberries and run the system for a little bit, get some fertilizer in it, and make sure it's running properly. I'll let this run for a couple hours and check on it and see what it does. Well, I got the system up and running. Uh, I put a bigger pump into it. I had to raise one side up to get the flow a little better. But what I'll do is do uh, weekly or bi-weekly updates on how the plants are growing. This has been a week. And you're seeing the plants are starting to grow up a little bit. So I might have one dead here that I have to replant. But it looks like a little bit. The one at the end here looks like it might come out but we'll see how it does so stay tuned for updates and thanks for watching